So what I'm going to talk about now is the solar orbiter mission for which we built an instrument. The instrument this time is the one just behind the glass over there. So the instrument is going to measure protons and alpha particles mainly, so that's uh, the solar wind uh, coming from the sun. So as you know, there's a bunch of particles that are being expelled from the sun because the sun corona is very hot. So there's a systematically and all the time, but, but in a very erratic fashion, uh, the sun is expelling those particles. When you have solar eruptions, then you expel a lot more particles out of the sun. And the number of those particles and their direction and their energy is what we are going to measure with this instrument. And this number of particles and energy is very important to tell you how it's going to interact with the Earth's magnetosphere, how it's going to create auroras, and how it's going to disrupt uh, electrical grids on the ground or disrupt satellites and damage satellites. And in the end, that may just make your iPhone not work anymore, which is in the end what most people care about. Uh, but what we care about, scientists, is really fundamental science. So things like what we call turbulence in plasmas, magnetic reconnection or shocks, uh, shocks which you can find also in, in supernova, for example. So, so with this kind of mission, we can really study plasmas in the near-Earth environment with spacecraft in situ. This is something we cannot do in astrophysics in general. We cannot send a satellite to a supernova, for example, but we can do that near Earth and near our star, the Sun.